Welcome back everyone. I've got a quick update for you on the carbon fibre HHO electrodes. Uh, two things I want to show you. The first is the self polarization of these plates. Uh, after I've had these in for a few hours now, on and off over the last couple of days, um, I've found that if I try and swap the positive and negative leads coming into the cell, the gas production will cease and as soon as I swap them back they realize that they're in the right direction and they start producing gas again so I want to get onto the second thing because that's even cooler uh, so we'll just show you this quickly I'll um, set up the just remember the the bubble content coming up there just have a look at the bubbles see how much bubble action we've got now I'll take you around to the other side so you can watch me swap the leads over and, and then we'll come back here quickly and um, have a look at the gas production which will be non-existent um, before we swap them back again so you'll see that they have actually self polarized alright we'll come around here and you can see we've got the same setup as before it's just two leads with the two leads going straight into the power supply set at 12 volts so we'll get back here I'll set the camera down and hopefully it doesn't fall get a bit of zoom action there alright so I'll take this one off production stop now we're swapping the black one over to that side and yellow over to that side now we'll bring you back around and show you these are actually residual bubbles this always happens because they're so fine it takes about a good 5-10 minutes before they stop coming out but you can see compared to before we've got bugger all in terms of production now we'll set you back down over here and we'll swap them back over and bring it back around quickly so you can see it start up again there you go the bubble production again okay so self polarizing and it doesn't matter what sort of power supplies I put through this I've put everything from 2 volts DC all the way through to about 2000 volts and it doesn't matter what I do to it in whatever direction when I put it back onto this 12 volts it has to be in the right the right manner it does have a positive and negative now and there's nothing I can do about it and keeping in mind these two plates were cut from the same piece. I just cut it in half and drilled the holes in it and bolted it together. So they weren't made differently. They come off the same sheet that was made. Now the second thing I wanted to show you is the fact that we can produce HHO in not just a little quantity like I was showing you just a second ago, but in a much larger quantity. Um, I'm not going to be taking any measurements at this stage because we're not going to be developing this further based, along, based on this circuit but we're just showing you this because we can produce HHO without electrolyte there is no electrolyte in this water same as the last experiment um, same water as the last experiment nothing has been changed the only difference is we have this circuit here this circuit is three or four circuits that I've put together, borrowed parts from certain circuits and it's just one big circuit all joined together. Um, power comes in here, cable runs down here just looping over this draw handle and then it comes back up straight into the mains power supply there which is next to the orange plug. Um, 
we'll turn it on in a second but before I do just note that I've been running this thing for a while now and the rectifier diodes on the input of the switch mode power supply are uh, only built, are uh, only, sorry, only um, rated to like 350 milliamps, they're very low power diodes um, this switch mode puts out about 9 volts at 350 milliamps so we're drawing about 5 amps to, to run this thing here so keep that in mind we've got the amp meter set up here so we can have a look at the amps at the moment water temperature is about the 25 27 degree mark um, I've had the thermometer in there that is huge they are just pouring out I'll turn that off for a couple of seconds just to let these diodes cool down a bit yeah they're getting a bit warm I'll sit you on this angle here and you can watch it from this side there are a lot of bubbles coming off of here so no electrolyte people no electrolyte we'll come back around here I really don't care about these switch modes it's going to blow up oh. yeah, it's getting pretty warm in there but you know what we're going to try it again anyway and see what happens if it blows up it blows up let's go again Okay, let's do it again. We're getting some decent bubbles here. These are real bubbles. Let's go again. I can't believe this is plain water. We've got some real smoking now. And going again. Plain water, people. Plain water. Diodes are burning up. It's turning off. And off again. We have bubbles. And we're drawing 5.6 amps, which is why my diodes are melting. But we're getting a lot of current and a lot of HHO. And there you can see the smoke coming from my diodes. There you go. As you can see from these experiments, the water is turning a slightly discoloured brown definitely no problems with the um, electrodes there's no deterioration on the surface still solid as they're pretty warm at the moment now running those 5 amps through them but nothing to worry about they're still strong as and yeah we don't have any any issues at all these plates are really working well. Everything's holding up here. Except for my switch mode power supply. Now if I turn it off you can see the heat coming off into the water. That's all heat, that's not bubbles there that you can see. That is literally heating the water with all the current that's flowing. 
on the amp meter peaked at seven and a half amps, dropping back down to five point six. Diodes are starting to heat up now. We're gonna have to turn it off. But you can see the heat just pouring off of those plates in the water there. Massive production of hydrogen. I'm actually pretty surprised that we're getting that much hydrogen with no electrolyte. But we will keep going and hopefully not burn out these diodes. Quickly switching it off again. More heat pouring off those plates. We will turn it on. Now, peaked at 9 point something there, and then it sells back down to 5.5 roughly. So it stays at about the 5.5 mark. And that is huge production. Diodes are really smoking up now, so I'll switch it off. And you can actually see the steam coming off the top of that. Thing is really arcing. Let's run it one more time while we look at the steam production. You can see the steam pouring off the top there. Turning it off. Um, again, just another proof of concept. So at this stage, We've confirmed that we are producing HHO with these plates. We've confirmed that we can produce HHO in quantity with no electrolyte. And now the next step is to do the same thing, produce HHO with no electrolyte using high voltage and low current so that we don't have to draw 5 amps of current at 240 volts. Thanks for watching.